Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here at Activate Learn on Twitter. You know the drill. This time around I've got a book. Of course I've got a book. Why else did you click on play? <laughs> Righto, let's just get straight into it. So Victoria Mass, she is a French writer and she's written her debut novel. What a novel. It got me hooked. I read it in the one sitting. Sitting. And it is called The Mad Woman's Ball. As you can see, it is another library book. And this was sitting on the top shelf of the Kingston Library. And I took it off the shelf because my eyes spied gold and red and blues and blacks. And it was just so rich and lush. And I thought, oh, The Mad Woman's Ball. If there was a ball, I would have been there. Okay, so what is this book about? Before I jump into what is this book about, I want to also talk about the themes of what I learned. Okay, what I learned was the treatment of women in Georgian society, especially in Paris in the late 1800s. And let me just say, it wasn't pleasant. But what is the Mad Women's Ball about? Now, the ball itself actually is a little part of the story. In fact, in the very last pages, they actually talk about the ball. But it's the lead up to the ball and the story around the environment of Georgian Parisian society, the disconnection between the men, the treatment of women by the men of the time and how women who were usually the second class well I'm not usually they were the second class citizens of society the third class citizens and who were victims of domestic abuse um, abuse from their partners from their family from their brothers from the males of society and who may have had a mental illness of some sort were effectively put into this mental asylum called Salpetriere, which is a hospice in Paris currently. And this hospice was a place of, for some women, not only the asylum where they were treated for their illnesses, but also a refuge where lots of sane women were but they really just wanted to get away from a society where men treated them like shit. The story really what I learned is that the treatment of women but also about a doctor by the name of Dr. Charcot who was back then also uh, known and he used to treat the women through hypnosis and he would put these lectures on for men obviously at the time who would come in and gawk at the women and the doctor would put them under hypnosis and would try to cure them of their illness. So the Mad Woman's Ball is really about that and the story is about Genevieve who is one of the senior nurses who is at the, um, the refuge and she's someone who's been there for many many years and has shunned religion and just couldn't get over the death of her younger sister and so she has this secret that she carries with her this guilt over time and the second character is Eugenie a young girl who is someone who can see the dead she could see spirits around uh, others and she wants to keep this to herself because the people around her would deem her as mad and put her in Saltpetriere. But unbeknownst to her, she does divulge her secret to her grandmother, who then shares it to her father and to her brother, and who then put her in Saltpetriere against her wishes. And it's there that she's fighting with this thing that she is sane, but she can't actually say and be herself in a society that really doesn't accept her. And so what happens is she sees the dead sister of Genevieve and passes on a message to Genevieve about her father. And there's a story there which I won't divulge here. You may as well read the book. And so it is really a story of the two women. It is a story of the other women in the refuge and how they help each other, how they work things out, and how they are 
looking forward to this one time in the year to attend the Mad Women's Ball. And as I was reading about the Mad Women's Ball, I thought to myself, oh my God, okay, another not politically correct situation that would happen back then in the 1800s where the higher society would be invited by Salpêtrière to this once in a year Mad Women's Ball where the rich would share a room with the mad women and would be titillated by the goings-on of these mad women so they could share stories about the fact that they were in the same room and so that was considered as being some kind of a geek show uh, a sideshow or something like that and yeah it just didn't seem it didn't seem right but this is what they used to do in the 1800s i couldn't believe it anyway you're probably thinking, who is this? This is Pud, my cat. Hey. <laughs> he comes in and keeps me company every so often when I'm working here or giving book reviews. Let's continue on with the book review. So the Mad Woman's Ball is really a story of the, the tough life that women had to go through in Georgian society living in Paris. It is a story of the power of women. It is a great book um, with regards to the themes of how women work together despite adversity, despite the men in their lives being the ones who put them into institutions like this when there's absolutely, they're perfectly sane. Or the fact that the pressure that society places on these women that they seek refuge with each other that you tend to think man we really haven't moved on from this in some ways not just looking at our Australian government situation either so look I love the Mad Women's Ball if I sat and read it in in one sitting it it has a story to say so highly recommend this book let me know what you think if you have read this book so thanks for listening and thank you for watching. Bye for now.